Actually, he showed me some links that was related to Islam, and uh, that was not true. Like so what? I explained him. What was like, it true? The, okay, he sent me a link, and uh, it says in the uh, in that link that uh, Islam says to promote, you know, uh, beating women and everything. Yes, that's so in Surah Anisa. Open it up. Do you have your Quran? Uh, I I don't have a Quran right now, but um, do you know the voice? Every voice in Quran, it is not you know the meaning is not literal. Well, it, if it I is give not you the to hadith, this. if I give you the Sorry? hadith of your prophet, and I give you the commentators, they explain it that you oh, can beat oh, your wife. Oh, okay, okay. I understand what you're trying to say, but it is not entirely true. It says in Quran to beat them only, only if you know they welcome other men. So they're you're married, so well, well, they're down, they're not slow, married, but young lady, slow down. You're speaking too fast. Mm. So you're saying you mm. can only beat them if you feel rebellion. So you're admitting a woman can be beat, right? Not it. It, it also says it all. It also explains in Hadith that there is a word written next to it, which means lightly. It means no, that you can strike not. the women no, lightly, and it only belongs okay. to that era. Young lady. Like the, Young lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it doesn't. I've studied your deen, and I've studied your hadiths. Sal Bukhari says that a woman was mm -hmm. beaten so bad, she had a green mark on her body. This is what they've taught you. No, that's not true. I know this is what they teach you, but that's okay. But even beat lightly. So you're looking mm -hmm. forward to the day that you get married to a man. And if he fears you're rebellious, you're okay with him to beat you lightly? Can you beat him lightly too? Let me, no, 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 you are getting it wrong. Let me, what I'm getting wrong, I'm asking you a question. A way. I'm asking you a every, question. Every, no, okay, okay, let me answer to your question. No, I won't, I won't allow it. You won't allow it, but how can you? It's not your right. It's, it's my, it's only, you know, let me release again. The only thing that is mentioned in, you know, the ayat, the voice from Quran, it says that you can beat them lightly. It's not like no, hitting them lightly, or beating the them properly. No, the Quran doesn't say lightly. That's the Arabic word is idr buhunna. It doesn't say lightly. No, no, no. Like the, the Quran, the every ayat, it has different meaning. Okay. And there's a book written which explains every verse written in Quran. I and have the hadith book, of your prophet. I have the hadiths of your prophet. Your prophet says okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. The source, the source is authenticated. Yes, it's Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sahih, Sahih. It's Sahih. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Let me, let now here, me. before okay. I give you that hadith, this is a uh, Azbab al Nuzul al Wahdi. He's going to give you some hadiths. I just sent you the link. Azbab al Nuzul. That means the reason why the ayah was sent down. Azbab al Nuzul means the mm -hmm. reason why it's sent down. Nuzul, mm -hmm. right? Sayyid Muqattal, this verse, men are in charge of women, was revealed about Sa'ad ibn al-Rabbi, who was one of the leaders of the helpers, Nuqaba, and his wife Habiba bin Zayed ibn Abi Zuhair, both of whom from the helpers, Ansari. It happened, Sa'ad hit his wife on the face because she rebelled against them. Sa'ad hit his wife on the face. Then her father went with her, to see the prophet, he said to him, I give him my daughter in marriage, and he slapped her. The prophet, now pay attention, said, let her have retaliation against her husband. As she was leaving with her father to execute retaliation, the prophet called him and said, come back. Gabriel, Jibril, has come to me, and Allah exalted as he revealed this ayah, this verse, right? The messenger of Allah said, we wanted something while Allah wanted something else, and that which Allah wants is good. Retaliation was then sus suspended. Did you understand what I just read? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me see if you did. When the woman got slapped in the face, the man, the husband slapped her in the face. It wasn't lightly. The father went to Muhammad, your prophet, and he goes, okay, get the retaliation. But then the ayah came saying, no, the man has every right to slap his wife. So where did you get lightly from this? And I have more. I just want to see where did you get lightly? So if I slap you in the face, that's light? Okay, I, I need you to finish whatever you are saying first, and I'll go. Okay, don't don't twist because if you lie, your seat will be in the hellfire, stuck for Allah. You don't want to be hellfire. Okay, let me read to you one more. Mm -hmm. Sayyid ibn Muhammad ibn Ahmed al Zahid informed us, Zahir ibn Ahmed, Ahmed ibn al Hussein, ibn Junaid, Ziyad ibn Ayyub, Hushaim, this is the Senate, Yunus ibn al Hassan reported that a man slapped his wife and she complained about him to the prophet. 
Her family went with her, said, Oh, Messenger Allah, so and so slapped our girl. The Prophet kept saying, Retaliation, retaliation. And there's no other judgment to be held. But then this verse, men are in charge of women, was revealed. And the Prophet said, We wanted something, and Allah wanted something else. Abu Bakr al Harithi informed us, Abu al Sheikh al Hafiz, Abu Yahya al Razi, Sahil al Askari, Ali ibn Hashim, Ismail al Hassan, who said, Around the time, when the verse on retaliation was revealed amongst the Muslims, a man had slapped his wife. She went to the prophet and said, my husband has slapped me and I want retaliation. So he said, let there be retaliation. As he was still dealing with her, Allah revealed men are in charge of women because Allah had made the one of them to excel the other. Upon which the prophet said, we wanted something and my Lord wanted something different. Oh man, take your wife by the hand. So Allah said, no, she cannot retaliate. The man has a right to slap her. So do you know more than your prophet? Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I understand everything you said. Okay. You just said. So you okay with that? I'm not okay with that, but I did not know about the thing you said or end of the year and everything. But I have to search it up and Google it up, everything, and, you know, go through the seat to understand there's, there's, there's always a, you know, there's always an explanation or a reason behind it. Of course, you're brainwashed. There's, so there's a good explanation for a man to beat you. You see, you are very brainwashed to think there's a good explanation. You I'm see? not, I'm not, I'm not brainwashed. Allah, I, I, Allah, you know, Allah, you have to, you have to go, Allah, you have to go into the desert, everything before believing it, you know. Oh, so you, you mean when I go to the tafsir and I go to the sunnah and I go to the mufassirin. Oh, but I still need explanation. Come on, don't deceive yourself. Can did I you, you did you Google did you Google it up why no, why did I Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this? Wait wait Sal salad upon him. What you say? Why he said it? Yeah, he said I it said, because I just gave yeah. it. Yeah. Did you hear why? I just read to you why. When a man yeah, slapped I, his wife, and uh, Muhammad said, "Get the retail channel." Said no because men are in charge of women. They can beat their wives. What are you asking? I just gave you the reason. You didn't give me the reason. I gave it to you. As Babel Nuzul. So do you know the can reason? You, can it, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I okay, understand okay. you came with the preparation. You, you know, you searched it up. You what have research? everything you have to see and everything, but I didn't know about it. But you know, okay, now let me give everything. you Bukhari. Narrated Iqrimah. Rifah divorces wife. So Rifah divorces wife. Whereupon Abdurrahman bin Az Zubair al Qurazi married her. Aisha okay. said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her. Of her husband and showed her a green spot of her skin caused by beating he hit her so hard he left a bruise and you'll read it later you'll see i didn't make it up it was the habit of ladies to support each other so when allah's messenger came now pay attention to this this is aisha right and then i'm gonna ask you something about aisha when allah's messenger came aisha said i have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman look her skin is greener than her clothes. So she's upset, Aisha, because this woman got beat and the man left a bruise on her body. And look what she said here. It's in the comment section. I'll put right there. I just put it for you. You see it? Okay, I can see it. Okay, now see. you see now look what she said. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. And look what she said. I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. In other words, the Muslim woman, they suffered more than unbelieving women. That's Aisha, not me. Now watch here. When Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons from another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him, but he is impotent. Impotent means he can't be intimate with her in bed. And is as useless to me as this, holding and showing the fringe of her garment. Abdurrahman said, Wallahi, by Allah, oh Allah's messenger, she has told a lie. I am very strong and can satisfy her, but she is disobedient. That's what the ayah says. If you fear rebellion and wants to go back to Rifa, she wants to go to her first husband. Allah's messenger said to her, if that is your intention, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa unless Abdurrahman has had sexual intercourse with you. Then the prophet saw two boys with Abdurrahman and asked, are these your sons? On that, Abdurrahman said, yes. The prophet said, now he's talking to the wife. You claim what you claim, i.e. that he's impotent? Wallahi, but by Allah, these boys resemble him as a crow resembles a crow. Did you see your prophet said nothing to the man about beating her so hard that he left a bruise on her body? Said nothing. He rebukes her for accusing him 
of not being able to satisfy her? So you okay if your this, husband beats you and leaves you a bruise on your body? This is this is the whole story here, gents. Here's the story like is, of a man named Brady. Are you okay with a man beating a woman and leaving a mark on her body? I am asking you the story you copy pasted here. The, you know. Do you know what the story was? Did you hear this, it? The, you read it. I heard you and I read it as well. I'm asking if it is the complete story. If it is. Yes, it's the complete if, story. Bukhari narrated. You want me to call Bukhari and. Jenna I know, him. I know, okay, I know. Bukhari. Bukhari, okay. So why I he know. hit her? He hit her because she was rebellious and wanted to go back to her first husband. Okay. You read it right first, there, uh, right? Okay, can can I talk now? It depends. If you're gonna lie, then I'm gonna have to get uh, a Muslim man to okay. beat you. Go ahead. You are you are a professor, okay? Even if I'm gonna lie, you're gonna know of course that I'm lying or something. Okay, whatever you are, yes. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you an explanation. If you don't, if you think I'm lying, just don't believe it. Okay. okay? Yeah. Waiting for first your explanation. First of all, okay. First of all, I believe in Quran. Okay, I I believe in Hadith too, but I I go through many sources to believe the source if the source is authenticated or not. The Sahih Bukhari. There are many Hadiths in Sahih Bukhari which is not entirely true. No, that's a okay. lie. So, You're lying. No, no. No, it's no, no. Let me correct uh, you. No. Let me, let me finish. No, Let sister, finish. sister, I'm going to get you out of here for lying to me. She's lying through her teeth. No Muslim says there's any weak hadith in Bukhari. They're all sahih, but some are ahad. So she thinks I'm stupid. Now I'm going to just prove to you she's a liar. I'm going to now quote a Muslim scholar. I'm going to give her now Sheikh Asim al-Hakim, who says to these Muslims who lie about Bukhari, if there's any weak hadith in Bukhari. See, so th I can't deal with liars. Shame on you. You're 22. You want to lie to me because you want to defend your prophet having women like you beaten and treated like prostitutes. Shame on you. Don't ever lie to me again. Here, let me have uh, Asim tell you. Muhammad Muskin Khan in his translation says that people tried to find fault with Bukhari and they could not find a single mistake in Bukhari. Why are you lying to me, young lady? Uh, he says that First of all, our Hold on, listen to Sheikh Asim to tell you you're a liar. Sahih al -Bukhari authentic the hadith of bukhari and muslim are all authentic did you hear that did you hear what he said i'm giving her the scholar says for someone who's not a scholar they're all authentic she still wants to argue with the scholars so jericho you got to tell your friend to go buddy but it was a good conversation